Welcome to Tik Talks, a podcast where we try to navigate life by styling our minds, one candid conversation at a time. I'm Jilly. I'm Dave. If you have any topic suggestions you want to hear on the show, let us know. Follow and send us a message on Tik Talks podcast on Instagram or Facebook. Thank you and enjoy listening. Hello everyone, welcome to the 18th episode of our podcast, TikToks. And Hello! Thank you for listening again to this new episode. So for today, we're going to talk about setting our personal boundaries. Diba? Napaka ganda nitong topic na ito, Mami Maharlate. So at this point, we know na we are already familiar with the actual health benefits of knowing how to say no. So ngayon, we want to dive deep into setting the limits and rules for ourselves within relationships, within work, within oneself. And before kami mag-proceed in discussing this topic, um, I want to give uh, one definition of self-boundaries na nahanap din naman kanina. So when we say self-boundaries, it's the limits that we set with other people which indicate what we find acceptable and unacceptable in their behavior towards us. So naka-incorporate lagi na when we say self-boundaries, it's the limits, limitation. Not crossing the line. Hanggang dito ka lang. Mga ganon. Okay? Alright. So, before we continue, I want to ask you, um, Jilly, um, how do you define self-boundaries? And why do you think it's important? Very heavy, but helpful. So, um, as, you, <laughs> as you mentioned, personal boundaries. Um, not everyone. I feel like not everyone is um, aware that is it it is important and not everyone knows that they have to set it for their own good because as we all know if we have personal boundaries um it can lead to a healthy relationship with the people around you may iwasan yung mga toxic moments toxic people and may iwasan yung situation wherein you don't feel comfortable with what other people are saying or kung ano man yung actions na ginagawa nila. So it is very helpful to set a personal boundaries for yourself. And at the same time, it's very helpful if you communicate it to them. So, so that's what we are going to talk about today, right? We are going to discuss and share about um, um, these experiences are yung mga maliliit na nangyayari sa atin na Minsan parang wala lang, pero nagpa-pile up. Yun yung gusto nating maiwasan eh. Yes. Yes. Kasi mm-hmm. may iba na hindi na lang natin pinansin eh. Like for example, someone com- commented on what you're wearing. And uh-uh. at first, hindi ka bothered. Pero pagka mm. madalas na nilang ginagawa, parang iba na. Kasi nasanay ka na. Maybe nasanay ka na. And you didn't know that you were being, I don't know, nababastos or exploited already. Exactly. So that's what I we agree. wanted to to... Uh, that's the thing that we don't want want to happen. That's why we are talking about this right now. So, yun. Yes. It is very mm-hmm. important. I think this is also a part of, I mean, under siya ng um, self-love. Eh. Na if mm. you know your personal boundaries, then exactly. you know what's good for you, you know your worth, you know your value. So, mm. ayun. Okay. I agree. Totoo lahat na sinabi mo. And, of course, if you have self-love, ang magiging end nun, if you have self-love, self-boundaries, you value yourself, your worth, is magiging healthy yung mental health mo, magiging healthy ka emotionally, psychologically. And yun yung isa sa mga bagay na ina-attain ng bawat isa sa atin. Or wini-wish natin na ma-attain natin. Diba? Sa araw-araw natin na buhay. Okay. So right now, we're going to... Um, parang i-categorize namin yung self-boundaries in terms of relationship, not only in romantic ses- sense, but also sa friends, sa family, sa acquaintance, in terms of work, and also sa sarili natin mismo. And gusto ko yung sinabi ni Jilly na yung mga maliliit na bagay. Kasi parang sa atin, 
lumaki tayo sa notion na yung self-boundaries o yung sumusobra ka na na line or sobra ka na, parang lumampas ka na sa, lumampas ka na sa, nag-cross ka ng line, ang lagi natin iniisip is yung mga malalaking bagay or yung mga big deal. Na, 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 na neglect natin yung mga small things na pinapa pipas na lang natin kasi yung iba sa atin masyadong mabait or ayaw na lang nila mm-hmm. ng gulo or ayaw nila ng yes uh, So, ngayon, mm-hmm. di-discuss namin yun yung paano maging assertive and all that. Okay, Jilly, I have to ask you a question in terms of relationship. Um, ano yung mga mm-hmm. self, ano, ano yung mga nilalagyan mo ng boundaries and when do you think is the right time to say no or say yes pagdating sa relationship? Mm-hmm. Or when is the right time to tell them to stop it? Exactly. So, <laughs> stop. Okay. So, we know that I have a very good example because um, this is about a friend. Na hmm. We know that when we are friends with someone, they can be toxic. And sometimes, hmm. um, tanggap naman natin yun. It's part of friendship. It's not... I mean, para lang yung relationship eh. It's not all about rainbows and butterflies. Minsan may, um, may di pagkakaintindihan. And sometimes, yun nga, dumanating tayo sa point na sumasobra na. And when a person is problematic, I know for a fact na when you are the type that is empathetic and understanding, palagi mong iniisip na kapag ka, for example, sinasaltik siya, ganun. Ang pangit ng term. Pero pag, for example, na abnoy or sinasaltik na parang, saan ka na naman, saan na naman ang gagaling yung mga yan? Pero, although may inis tayo, iintindihin na lang natin na um, we have to understand them kasi nga, alam natin um, na ganun talaga siya. But, um, I would just like to highlight na uh, minsan kasi yung mga ganong instances na paulit-ulit na toxic traits and actions that the people are doing um, towards us, naiipon kasi yun. So, I feel like now we are allowed to feel what we want to feel and I feel like we have to recognize it. We are allowed to be annoyed. We are allowed to get angry towards that person and sometimes we don't have to always understand them. We don't always have to put them first. Na, ah, ganito lang siya, kaya siguro nasasaktan niya ako, pero hindi niya naman sinasadya. So, palalampasin ko na lang. Hindi naman siya ganong tao. Hindi niya naman minimin yun. So, ayun. I feel like if you want to have a healthy relationship with other people, you have to communicate to them and tell them na what they're doing is not good and it's not healthy, not helpful. So, ayun. I feel like this is a challenge for empathetic and understanding people. Kasi, yes, exactly. ang mm-hmm. madalas na iniisip nila na, intindihin na lang. Ko. Oo, intindihin na lang kung saan siya nanggagaling. Ganun talaga eh. So, parang ayoko ata. Hindi ko, ayokong i-encourage yung ganong mindset. Like, if you, mm-hmm. it's okay to understand them. But at the same time, you have to do something about it. Hindi yung pababayaan mo na lang kasi exactly. hindi yan matututo eh, kung hindi mo sasabihan na yung mga ganitong actions mo hindi nakakatuwa or mm. hindi yan healthy, hindi nakakatulong. So, pwede bang pigilan mo? Well, Totoo. wag ganon. Medyo rude pag ganon yung sinabi mo. Pero, I mean, yun yung intention mo. You know what I say, The way you say it, siguro papasin phraseology mo yan. Eh, para hindi oh, 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 oh. Okay, Siyempre, okay. Oh, oh. Siyempre, kanyari, in a mabait, no? Kind of way. So, I feel like that's a, that's an example that I want to highlight kasi I've experienced that a lot Mm-mm. with friends. Mm-mm. So, yeah. which is a good experience, ano how, which is a good example yung na-experience mo kasi ano, not everyone is assertive when it comes to saying what they want to say. Kasi mm-hmm. kagaya nga nung sabi ko kanina, parang they just want to keep the relationship. But mm-hmm. I want to highlight as well na iba-iba yung intensity natin ng toxicity. For example, um, yung mga mean jokes or yung mga pranks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For, for mm-hmm. other people, that's totally okay. Kasi sanay sila sa mga ganong kalokohan. And then for mm-hmm. other people, hindi sila sanay sa ganun. Like ako, ayoko ng mga prank na ganyan. Hindi ako fan ng ganyan. 
ayoko nang kasi parang ewan ko I value respect kasi in whatever kind of relationship like that's how my mom raised me so parang it it, it doesn't mean na magkaibigan tayo may kakapanan ka ng bastusin ako or pagtawanan ako or whatsoever ayoko nang ganun so I'm very assertive which is yun naman yung okay sa akin oh iniintindi ko where, where, where this person is coming from pero I think I learned that the very young age to become assertive na honest ako na parang hey alam mo what you're doing is ano eh, parang wrong maybe for you it's right but for me it's mm-hmm. wrong I'm not saying na tigilan mo yung ginagawa mo sa ibang tao kaya mayroon kang friend na okay sa kanila yon. but sa akin hindi yeah. and I want you to respect that so yun lang when we when we became assertive naman we don't really mean na tigilan ng tao yung isang behavior na yon. kung doon sila I mean you cannot please everyone I mean the attitude of the people around you is something that you cannot control. Hindi mo naman sila pwede baguhin. Yeah. Na, mm-hmm. Ikaw, wag kang, wag kang mang ganyan. Wag kang masyadong maingay sa ka. Mga ganon, hindi mo pwedeng sabihin yun. Sino ka ba para gawin yun sa kanya? But the only thing that you can do is yung i- i- ano, ibabalandra mo sa kanila yung limitation. Hanggang dito ka lang, pag sa akin. Mm-hmm. Ngayon, sa iba mong kaibigan, mm-hmm. gawin mo yan, I-, I don't care, buhay mo yan, pag sa akin, ayoko. Kasi ito yung ayo, ayoko na ginaganyan ako. And I think Uh-oh. we don't keep to be mm-hmm. uh, guilty for doing that. Kasi kahit kailan hindi naging maling piliin mo yung sarili mo. But not in a conceited mm-hmm. way, ha? I mean, in terms of yung taking good care of your mental health and emotional state, yun yung importante. Kapag nasisira niya na yung core values mo or yung mga pananaw mo, hindi, hindi na kayo, eka, hindi, hindi na, sumasobra ka na. I want oh. to highlight as well na nabanggit mo kasi kanina yung mga empathic person, mga empathic people. Um, karamihan sa empathic people, they have good heart. Diba? They were raised to act this way. They were raised to be nice, to maging cultured, educated, mapagpasensya, etc. Now, if people are doing something na salungat sa kung ano'y nakasayatnaya natin, yes, natin talaga because we are empathic. <laughs> I mean, sa lungat, or hin- alam natin na medyo off yun, or it's kind of rude. Um, I think okay lang naman na pagbigyan sila first time if they really don't know what they're doing. Kasi yun nga yung nabasa ko nung last week, na parang minsan naiinis tayo kasi we expect people to behave this kind of uh, way, yeah. kagaya ng ginagawa natin. Na, alibawa, yung when it comes to time or pag-update, na parang pag hindi ka nakakapunta, magsasabi ka, Ganun ako pinilaki. Ngayon, nag-expect ka na lahat ng tao gagawin yon. Eh, may tao na sabihin natin yung term bastos, hindi marunong magpaalam or hindi pala makakapunta, hindi nagsasabi, may ganun. Nag-expect tayo na ganun sila. So, ang ending na iinis tayo pag hindi nakukuha yung expectation natin. Na sometimes nakakalimutan natin na maybe this person talaga uneducated siya or hindi niya alam na ganun pala talaga dapat yung role. Hindi natin alam ano yung upbringing sa kanya. Now, if, if the person did that for the first time, I think it's okay it's okay. Dito papasok when do we say yes or no way or until when tayo magsistop. It's okay na pagbigyan. Okay. Pagbigyan natin, hindi niya alam. Pero kapag yun, pumuulit-ulit-ulit na, na sinabi mo na sa kanya yung ayaw mo, sinabi mo na sa kanya yung dapat niyang gawin, inulit-ulit niya pa, doon na yung time na talagang kausapin mo na siya. Parang ano, gusto kong i-highlight din yung uh, pumapasok to sa ano eh. Because as a person, we have different values, di ba? Sa iba, okay na pinag-uusapan yung uh, ganitong bagay na maybe for other people, it's too personal. Masyado siyang too much information. And at this, ito na. Ito yung gusto kong sabihin na for other people, kahit na hindi sila komportable sa topic na yun, but for the sake of pakikisama, quote-unquote, okay. they will... Um, make others feel na komportable silang pinag-uusapan yun and magpa-participate pa sila sa conversation. Just so um, they wouldn't think na ang KJ nito na parang ang wala namang meaning yun. Eh. Hindi naman ibig sabihin, ginook namin, yun na yung stand namin sa issue na yun, mm-hmm. ganyan. It's just for fun, ganun, yung point nila. But I just wanted to say na I mean, <laughs> why are you trying to please other people? Kasi mm. if hindi ka komportable na, for example, pinag-uusapan yung bagay na yun, let's say, um, 
pregnancy, abortion, or kung anumang other issues, or maybe personal stuff, like yung, um, for, for girls, yung period, yung hormones, and all that thing. For other people, okay lang mm. na pinag-uusapan yun and nagjo-joke about it. Yun yung medyo masakit sa iba eh, na nagjo-joke sila about it tapos hindi nila alam na nakaka-offend na sila ng tao. And for and for the person na natamaan sa joke na yun or sa kanya talaga targeted, he or she would rather keep the keep his or her mouth shut kasi ayaw niya na lumabas siya as um, KJ or parang hmm. ma-off sa kanya yung mga friends niya. So, ayun, gusto ko lang sanang i-highlight yun na you have to, if you know your value, I mean your personal value. And it's okay to speak you know up. Oo. Oo. It's okay to speak up. Na parang, yun, dun din papasok yung upg- upbringing na mm. you don't always have to adjust to other people's standards or moral standards. Exactly. Kasi or if to you conform. know in yourself, mm-hmm. oo, to conform. If you know in, in yourself what you believe in, mm-hmm. I think it's okay to stand up for it. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. Ano, yung oh, consent. Oh, kaysa naman tiisin mo na oh, oh. yes, the consent. Hihingi ka lagi kaysa ng consent. Mo na, mm-hmm. oh, oh. Hirap kaysa na hirap ka na. mo na puro uncomfortable situation for you tapos parang tinitiis mo na lang everyday. Oo. Oh, oh. Tapos hinahayaan mo. Nagpa-pile up ngayon. Yeah. Nga. Ngayon ang sabi mo. I feel tas, like papasok yung yung consent. consent. Ang feeling kong solution dyan, you, you always have to ask for permission and consent other people, whether it's a joke or kahit sa mag-boyfriend. Yung, yeah. yung iba yung, halimbawa, yung affection. Pagiging affectionate sa public. There are people na ayaw ng affectionate sa public. Meron naman na clingy. So I think as a person, if you respect the people around you, your partner, your fer- friend, or the people that you love, you ask for permission. Are you okay to do this? Are you okay ba na gawin ko to sa'yo? Are you okay na sabihin natin to? Kasi doon papasok yung, yung pagiging, yung empathy, yung empathy mo na sensitive ka sa damdamin ng tao. Diba? Lag, lagi, maging, matipos na tayong makiramdam. Mm-hmm. Oo, diba? Na, sa ibang tao kasi ba? negative yan eh. Oo. Siguro hindi pa nila na, Oo. ano, nakikita na iba-iba talaga ang tao. Kasi yan ang isa sa mga mahirap na i-educate sa mga tao. Hindi namin siya sabi ito dahil napakagaling namin. But this is what we have observed in w- kahit anong bansa ito eh, hindi mawawala. Hindi sa Pilipinas. Mm-hmm. May tao talaga na kung ano yung pananaw nila, yun dapat. Ano yung tama sa kanila, yun dapat. Ano yung ano yung tradition, ano yung culture, belief nila, ganun dapat. Pero kung lahat tayo matututong i-accept yung differences yung mm-hmm. uniqueness ng bawat individual na may 7 billion tao sa mundo at may 7 billion kakaibang characteristics na gaya ng fingerprints hindi nagdodoble kahit kambal. I think maayos ang mundo eh. Ayos yung relationships ng tao eh. Ano ba? For other people kasi kaya takot din silang mag-speak up kasi ayaw nilang nasasabihan na bukod sa KJ, masyadong sensitive. Oo. Alam mo yun. Ayun, alam mo, toxic yung mga ganyan. <laughs> Nagpugot. Oh, sa action, yeah. totoo naman. Toxic sila. Tsaka, parang, pinag-aslight ka nila. Yung big kick cleaning. Diba? Na parang, mm. yung sensitivity, sensitivity, iba-iba yan ng mm. intensity eh. So, may tao na for, for that person, ayaw niya talaga ng ganun sa'yo. Matatag ka sa mga ganong joke. So, Mm-mm. maging yun, maging sensitive lang talaga tayo. I think yun yung, yun yung punot dudo ng solusyon sa ganitong oh. problema. Yung ano, maging sensitive talaga tayo. Diba? I feel like as long as hindi naman naapektuhan nung pagka-sensitive nung tao, yung personal work niya. Or exactly. I mean, yung work oh, oh. niya, yung profession, professional work or yung outcome ng mga ginagawa niya na required of him or her. I feel like you have to respect that. Na exactly. Oh, oh. Hindi naman affected yung output ko oh, sa oh. work. Kung sensitive ako, magaling pa rin naman akong magsulat or magaling pa rin naman akong mag-present sa mga ginagawa ko. Nakakapag-perform pa rin naman ako ng maayos. So, I'm not doing anything uh, bad yeah. to other people. Wala naman akong ginagawa sa inyo. So, Bakit yung like, problema nyo? Okay. So, Dami na may so, hugot. Actually, yeah. <laughs> kasi, toto, kasi ano eh, uh, yung mga nasabi mong yan, kasi I'm an empath din, nakaka-relate ako. Pero siguro ang maganda lang sa ugali ko, assertive ako. Kaya ang dami din nagsasabi sa akin, masyado kong sensitive, masyado kong ano. Pero ngayon, oh. na-validate ako, na-affirm ako. And yun din mm-hmm. yung gusto naming maramdaman yun, na okay lang yun. 
Okay, kung sabihin nila kayong sensitive, bahala, bahala kayo sa buhay. Bahala sila sa buhay nila. Basta isipin mo lagi yung sarili. Piliin mo yung sarili mo. Okay? Alright. Oh. We've talked about relationships and ang dami namin hugot about that. Now, we, we want to talk about the workplace or the load of work na binibigay sa atin kung meron tayong mga boss or whatsoever or I don't know, kung ano man yung work nyo, freelancer or whatever. <laughs> How do you... Uh, set your boundaries, Julie, in terms of work or in terms of tasks that you need to finish. Sobrang scary naman na to. Hello sa mga <laughs> boss kong nakikinig. Kung <laughs> 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 nabili ko na, hindi na sila. <laughs> Kung makinig man sila in the future. Hello. So, ito. In terms of work, I feel like this is a very important aspect of it that we have to discuss. Ako, personally... Um, setting up my own limits or boundaries in terms of work. Pag weekend, kapag wala namang masyadong urgent, I, I turn off my notifications sa phone. So, siguro if kailangan-kailangan mo ko, you can call me. Pero you can't expect me to be always online, especially on Viber or to always reply to you on email kapag ka weekends. Unless I know that there is an ongoing urgent project na kailangan mag-work for the weekend and mm-hmm. nasabihan ako and I am aware. Pero if wala naman, I guess that will help. This is for everyone also. You Turning off your notifications during weekends or pag break nyo, pag off nyo, it will be very helpful. So, yun. I agree. Yeah. And also, I feel like, oh, oh. Meron don't, pa. Sorry. Don't Meron pa make isang. yourself available all the time. Tama. Kasi pagka ganun, pagka nasanay sila na, ay kahit weekend, nagre-reply to. Kahit Uh-oh. na, um, kahit Sunday, pag chat ko, nagre-reply siya, ang bilis, kaya good yun. So parang, Kinasa if you make yourself, na yes, if you make yourself available all the time, even during weekends, masasamantala ka, without you even knowing it, magpa-pile up yan, hanggang sa dulo, mababurn out ka. So, exactly. mababa, mab- fed up ka na sa work. Oo, babalik yan sa'yo. So, I guess as early as now, if hindi ka pa fed up or kung fed up ka na, you have to set your limits, turn off your notifications, don't make yourself available for other people all the time. Go ba? I agree. And also, when it comes to work, or not only in work, like for example, you have an organization or mayon kang ibang passion projects, I think, yung tao kasi, bukod sa you're always available, pag nakita nila na magaling ka, or when, when they saw a potential yeah. in you, aasahan ka. Mm-hmm. So, ang mm-hmm. nakita kong solusyon na ginagawa ako dyan dati is I try to teach these people ng skills na meron ako. Na parang, okay, so for example, the person wanted to ano ba, shoot a video or mm-hmm. kami, eto, nung mass com days or minsan outside school may mga uy, mag-shoot naman tayo, pwede mong ikaw mag-photoshoot sa amin mga ganyan. Maybe moving forward, in a very subtle way, I try to share or impart my knowledge. Hindi dahil sa ayaw kong kayong tulungan. But I don't want you guys to be dependent on me all the time. So so that yeah. pag, if I'm not available, you can take over. And this is what I do din naman sa podcast natin, di ba? Parang, ate, um, there's something that I have discovered, blah, blah, blah. I'm not saying this para ipasa yung trabaho dun sa tao. But I'm saying this para in case in the future na I'm not available, you can take over. Diba? Or pwede mo siyang magamit. And it's for your own personal growth and development din naman. Kasi, di ba yung may kasabihan nga na parang yung tao, wag mo siyang bibigyan ng fish, turuan mo siyang mag- mag- mangisda para may kainin siya. So, same with work. Mm-hmm. Parang, especially yung sa job description, I think, ito yung isa sa malaking problema ng, ng mga tao ngayon na yung gumagawa tayo ng trabaho na hindi naman yung job description na in natin. Mm-hmm. Mag-train kayo ng mga tao, yung mga employee dyan. <laughs> yung mga employee dyan. <laughs> <laughs> pero ano, yung iba Ay, naman. Ayoko mag Pero totoo, uh, employee dyan. Oo, oh, wag. Mag- <laughs> ano ba yan? Mag-train kayo ng tao. Mag-hire kayo. Hindi yung gawain at limang tao bibigay nyo dun sa isang chai. <laughs> May hugot. <laughs> Yun. Grabe yung hugot mo dun. Pero totoo, at the same time, ma- i-mention ma- din naman natin. I-mention din naman natin yung mga small companies maybe or mm. small groups na hindi talaga maiwasan na gagawa ka ng bagay na hindi mo na yes. defin- hindi mo scope. Pag limited but yung... As lo- yeah. Pag limited yung resources and you and you care about the company, you care about the people and you willingly do it without any hard feelings, I feel like that's okay as long as you are happy. 
Pero mm-hmm. if you're the type na napapaisip ka na na, wait, parang hindi ko na to scope of work. Feeling ko, mm-hmm. isipin mo, if you want to do it for them, if or you would you. willingly do it for them, Uh-oh. na masaya ka ba kung mm-hmm. gagawin ko to para sa kanila nang or... hindi ko naman trabaho. So, mm-hmm. I guess, personal preference, but personal at the preference. same time, you, mm-hmm, you have to set limits. Mm-hmm. Kung hanggang mo, kailan mo eh, gagawin. Or, hanggang kailan yes. ka or hanggang Kasi saan. alam mo, oo, alam mo yung ibang tao, di ba, may takot silang magbida-bida. Yung parang oh, oh, oh. gusto nila. So, parang gusto nila na, parang gusto kong gawin to, gusto kong magpresenta, gusto kong ag- ako gagawa niyan. Kaso, baka mamaya, pagka nalaman nila na magaling ako dito, bibigyan na ako ng maraming work in terms of that. Tapos baka oh, oh. mamaya, bibigyan na ako lagi ng trabaho. <laughs> <laughs> so, di ba? Parang, takot you have to, I feel like, oo, oh, oh. Consequences. Isipin mo. Depende. Oo. Pero hindi, oo, depende. Hindi naman depende sa tao kasi magbida, magbida, magbida. Oo, 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 depende sa tao yan. Kasi kung yung taong yun, naghahabol siya ng experience at gina siya oo, oo. Mm-mm. Lang. Mm-mm. Pero kung oo. yung taong yun, ba, giyagawa niya na for 20 years, pagod na pagod na siya. Siyempre, oo, oo. pwede ka na mag-go. Pwede ka na mag-go. Pwede ka na mag-go. Pero kami, hindi siya talaga na masusipag yung mga newbies. Eh. <laughs> Iba yung mga OJT. Totoo, totoo. Kasi naghahanap siya na experience. Oo. Oh, Tsaka oh. ah, maging HR ka. na tayo dito. <laughs> okay lang yan. Let's <laughs> relate HR na tayo. <laughs> Tapos yung mga employees naman. Yan nga, sabi ni Gigi, hindi may iwasan na yung nag blur yung line when it comes to job roles and the description. I think, yes. ano na rin, preference mm-hmm. na rin ni employer yon kung paano mo kocompensate not only in financial but how you treat your employees. Like, for example, baka naman pwede mag-offset siya or baka naman pag may mahalagang lakad siya, payagan mo siyang mag- out ng maagay. Mga ganong simpleng bagay kasi napakinabangan mo siya. Napakinabangan mo siya doon sa mga matitinding projects, diba? Kailangan mo siya. Baka naman kapag medyo maluwag mo hmm. schedule, baka naman pwede mo rin siya pagpahinga. Eh, diba? So, nasa right yeah. balance lang yun. Yes, HR na po tayo, guys. HR. <laughs> Why should Human we hire you? <laughs> okay. 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 We've talked about relationships, works, any other personal stop na we need to set our boundaries? Kahit hindi big deal, kahit yung mga normal na bagay lang. Any scenarios ba na maybe we can share to our listeners? Okay. Feeling ko, I will get to personal and TMI on this. Pero, okay, first one, yung simple lang na, I always ready myself whenever someone um, rants to me or magkukwento sa akin ng problems niya or ng life updates that that are kind of heavy. Alam naman natin na pagka nakikinig tayo ng um, situations or um, circumstances na pinagdadaanan ng iba, especially for empathetic and mm. yung mga feeler na na people. We tend hindi feeler to, na nag-feeling ah. <laughs> hindi, oo, oo, hindi. Pero feeling. yung type of personality na Oo. Um, and Myers Briggs. Parang mm. nakaha- oo, nakahawa ka kasi sa energy nila. So, I feel like setting a personal boundaries in terms of that is very helpful na sa tingin ko kung may magkukwento. Uh, dito na papasok yung napag-usapan natin before na you have to identify with yourself if you are in the right mindset to listen to another person's problems or heavy rants or stories. So, you have to say no kahit mabigat man sa loob. But kasi baka pag hindi ka nag-no, yes ka nang yes sa mga ganyan. Na parang hindi mo rin magiging, magagawa ng maayos. Oo, oo, magiging emotional sponge ka. Sir. Alam mo yun. Uh-oh. I agree. Hindi rin yun maganda. Hindi yun Uh-oh. maganda for your mental health. Hmm. And then, for personal boundaries, eto papasok to sa... So aside from that, um, this one, um, in terms of us girls or women, diba? I know a lot of us have um, guy friends. And there are times na siguro sa iba normal, pero sa iba hindi na when it comes to physical connections, na sa iba parang yung mga ganitong touch or comments in terms of your dress or the way you look. Sa iba, okay lang kasi close. Pero, I guess, to other people, kahit na close kayo, but you feel uncomfortable, kailangan mo atang i-communicate yun to them. So, it's kind of 
a way of protecting yourself as well, protecting your personal um, worth and value. Because there are other girls na um, they feel like they are quote unquote violated already sa mga ganong comments or jokes. But at the same time, hindi nila yun pinapansin because nangingibabaw yung idea or yung thinking na friends naman kami, wala naman kahit anong meaning yun eh. But at the same time, if there is that um, little voice inside your head na parang mali ata tong nangyayari, parang hindi ata dapat ganun, hindi tama, nakakabastos or something, I feel like you have to communicate that. So yun, kind of a little personal, but I feel like it needs to be said. So, yun, setting your personal limits in terms of your friends mm. and how they treat you is very important. Totoo. Ang ganda. Okay yan. Okay yung very useful yung share mo. But I want to add dun sa sinabi mo nung yung mga friends natin nag-share ng personal problems nila. I want to share a technique. Ito ginagawa namin ito ni Hane. Kayang, sometimes, when we are telling our problems, may time na gusto natin makikinig lang yung friend, may time na gusto natin payuhan tayo. So, mm-hmm. I think it's better to ask the friend muna. What do you want me to do? Do you want me to listen to your problem? Do you want me to give you an advice? Or do you want me to give an insight? Para hindi tayo na-offend minsan. Kasi minsan talaga, yan, nangyayari, paulit-ulit na sa episode namin, na sinahighlight namin na minsan you have the intention to give advice or to you want to solve the problem of your friend, pero di pala yun yung hinihini lahat ng moment. So, Again, walang masamang tanungin yun. Anong gusto mong... G- g- diba? Parang siyang counseling session ngayon. Actually, natutunan mm-hmm. din namin yan sa orge. Na parang, um, magtanong ka, anong gusto ng kaibigan mo? Ano bang help ang gusto mo? Gusto mo lang ba ng... Yan, may makikinig? Gusto mo lang ba ng safe space? Kasi kung yun yung gusto mo, pwede ko naman ding gawin yun. Tapos, maybe later on, if I have an insight, maybe sasabihin ko yun sa'yo kapag hindi ka na... Pag alam kong ma- ma-absorb mo na siya at hindi ngayon na overwhelmed ka ng emotions. Yun. In terms naman sa pagdadamit nung mo na kinocomment minsan ng mga guy friend or ibang babae, yes, I think it's very important. Kasi, di ba yung, yung iba nga yung catcalling, parang for some people, sasabihin pa bebe masyado, ganyan. But again, oh, yeah. yun yung core values mo eh. Para sa'yo yung verbal comment or yung simpleng touch na, na a, a, ano yung personal space mo. That's mm-hmm. totally personal okay. thing. Yeah. So, that's fine. I agree. Yun, yun lang naman. Ano pa ba? May nakalimutan ba tayong itouch? Na, so, I feel um, like wala so, naman. If uh-oh. we forgot something, I hope na i-share sa atin ng mga nakikinig. Pwede, oh. Because baka mayroon tayong nakalimutan. Mm-hmm. Setting self-boundaries or personal limit is a very wide topic na mm-hmm. baka, oh, oh. Maraming pwede yung sabi. Eh, maraming ano eh, naka- under dyan sa topic na yan. And siguro, before we end this episode, th- like some tip that I can share personally is practice makes perfect. Like yung sinabi ko na be- being assertive, um, nasabi ko to kanina kay Jilly, kanina nung pa-plan kami for episode, na if, you're, if you are a kind person and you, your friends know na oo ka ng oo, you can say no. That's, there was this time na you stood up, you speak, nag- nag-speak up ka, magbibigla mm-hmm. sila. Sabi nila, dati naman ganito ka, ba't ngayon nag i ka? Mga yeah. ganon. So, natural yun. We want to say that. Natural sa umpisa yun, nagugulat sila kasi nagbago ka na. But, uulitin namin sabihin yun sa inyo na okay lang yun. Darating din yung araw na pag na-explain nyo sa kanila at hopefully maging open-minded yung mga friends nyo or kung sino man tao nga sa paligid nyo. Matatanggap nila na sa pagkakataong to, inuuna mo lagi yung sarili mo. At walang mali dyan. Yun. Wait, ta- last na tanong. Paano natin masasabi na self-love and selfish? Magkaiba. Kasi yung sinasabi nila self-love, baka too self-absorbed ka. Sige, paano mo masasabi na self-love yun at hindi yun selfish? So tingin ko, selfish if you are starting to hurt other people's feelings or you are doing something na nakakasakit na sa iba mm-hmm. and then you still keep on telling yourself na this is what I want, um, this is for me, 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 parang mm-hmm. ang pangit ng ganong thinking na hindi mo na iniisip yung tao sa paligid mo. I feel like that is selfish. 
Mm-mm. I agree. So, I agree. you have to think of the people around you. Again, we are always highlighting that human connections is very important. Nurturing the relationships that you have is very important. That's why we are talking about self-limits in the, per- in the first place. Kasi para may comfortable ka sa circle mo or sa mga taong nakapaligid sa'yo. So, as long as, as long as the actions that you do or the values that you uphold, um, they do not Uh, hurt other people or wala kang nava-violate na ibang tao, feel like that's self-love. Oh, so that's true. That's true. So that's it. That's it, guys. Ikaw ba? Daya mo, ah. Sagutin mo yun. <laughs> Ako ba? Ano? Oh, oh. Si selfish or self Siguro self, yung mga taong selfish by nature, feeling ko hindi na nila naiisip yung iba. Hala, baka mm-hmm. masyado na akong selfish. Pero if you are empathic, oh. if you are giving, if you are the nurture, nurturing type person, nag, nag, nakakonsensya ka. So the fact na nakakonsensya ka na baka selfish ka na, that means that you are still selfless. Yes. Oh, yes. diba? Gusto ko i-highlight yun. Na hindi, ah. hindi ka, hindi ka mag, magdududa kung nag-aano ka. Tsaka yun, tama yung sinabi ni JD. As long as iniisip mo iba na kaya mo pinaprioritize yung sarili mo so you can give the love to other people. That's being selfless. Like, okay, mm-hmm. in terms of work, kailangan ko magpahinga, kailangan ko i-turn off yung notifications ko para pagpasok ko sa office sa Monday, I have the energy to help you guys. In terms yes. of friends, um, I don't want to listen to your stories right now. I don't want to listen to your problems, not because I do not care, but I want to prioritize my mental health so that moving forward, if you share something to me, I'm in the right mental and emotional capacity, nagiging good listener ako sa'yo. Mm-hmm. Kasi ayoko rin naman mm-hmm. na makikinig ako sa'yo tapos well, I'm not paying attention, inaantok ako or whatever. In terms of relationship and love life din naman or friendship, ganyan, kaya mo, kaya ka speak up, kaya mo sinasabi yung ayaw mo, kaya mo sinasabi yung boundaries mo kasi mahal mo sila at ayaw mo silang mawala sa inyo dahil sa toxicity na nagagawa nila. So I think yeah. that sums it all and I hope that you guys are able to learn something or maybe if you already know this, na-remind namin sa inyo what needs to be done. And again, our goal for this episode is to normalize and to validate those self-doubts whenever that we want to choose ourselves over other people. Yun lang! <laughs> Yun lang! Bye-bye!